What's up tubers, Tio here, Simplistic Fishing. It is time for the big three sack, six, six, six sack drawing for this month from Simplistic Fishing. Let's go open up these sacks, see what's inside of them. Then we're gonna spin the wheel. Actually, we're gonna look at the comments first. Spin the wheel and we're gonna have three lucky winners tonight. Let's go. Bam. All right, welcome back, and hopefully, you know, I wish you tons and tons of luck tonight in the drawing. There were about 43 entries total, so if you entered, you've got a 3 in 43 chance of winning this, so definitely good odds. Let's go ahead and open this up, just do a quick review, and if you want to see all the sacks, if I did all three of them, it'd take me a while, so I'm not going to do that tonight. I'm just going to do one, but if you want to see all three of them, just look at the last video that was done on the giveaway, and you'll see me break down each sack and see the differences between the sacks. Not a lot of huge differences, just bait colors, and that is it. The lures themselves are the same thing. So let's just go through it real quick and review what we have in here for tonight. So first off, we've got the Divine Swim Bait Jig Heads, four aught, eighth ounce. Sorry for the glare there. Hopefully it'll zoom in, you can see that. Pretty good little jig heads. We've also got, as soon as I grab it out of here, a Provoke, the key word. A Provoke 106X. This one is a pretty cool color. Really, really like that. That is a prime bait to be using all times of the year, pretty much. Then we've got the Divine Swim Jig. It's the perch color. Remember what I talked to you guys about the perch? It's about time. Those bluegill beds are happening right now. You got to start focusing around those. Those are going to produce you some massive giants. Look on the side scan. Look for the little craters. You start seeing that. Those are bluegill beds. You need to fish around them. All right. Next up, we got the Flush. The Flush 5.2 Soft Jerk Bait. Now, I don't know if you can use this like a soft jerk bait. I've tried it a couple times. It actually walks, um, but I honestly have just never tied it on and really gave it a, a long enough time to give it a good review. But I can tell you that I've thrown these on the back of Carolina rigs and had a ton of success with them. So definitely take a look at that. Those are those flush watermelon color. Hopefully you guys win that one. Next up, we got the Six Cents uh, Sun Mask. I know you were dying to get that, so we've all got that. We're gonna need that pretty soon because it's gonna start getting hot. In fact, it's stinking hot right now in my garage. It's like the humidity is like 90 degrees. All right, next up, we've got Hybrid Jig. It's the Axel Hybrid Jig. Again, kind of a legal color, kind of just more of a, a green and black, but really cool colors. Those jigs, the Hybrid Jigs are just, they're phenomenal, I love them. And then last but not least, we have the Crush 50X and that's in the chartreuse with the black top. And this was the main bait that was a little bit different in the other two sacks. So that's it for the sacks. The sacks are empty and now it is time to go check out those comments and then spin the wheel. Let's go. Now we're into the part of the video that's probably my favorite part about these giveaways is just seeing the funny comments that you guys have and the cool poems that you write and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and dig in here and see what we can find. Now I'm going to start with Paul Casper because Paul always gives us a really good poem, something really good, you know, always, every, every single month. Um, and this time, Paul, I mean, it was classic, man. Mic drop right here. Are you trying to provoke me to write another poem? Yes, I am, Paul. I need poems, man. Poems are good for us. So thank you, Paul. Thank you for putting the comment out there. And always thank you for all your support. Let's keep moving down and see what else we see here. Uh, Jeremy, uh, those baby hooks were enough to provoke a laugh out of me. Yeah, I think so too, Jeremy. I, you know, when I pulled this out of the bag on that video, I was kind of, I got to admit, I was a little bit, I was a little bit shocked. I was like, why, why are they sending me pan fish hooks? And then after I even recorded, I was like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that thing about putting the bluegills, you know, and just putting them out there for meat for the bass. But oh, well, hopefully some little kids having fun in a pond right now. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving down. Rock of blades out on a yak, living the dream. The topwater bite is on. So it seems into the pads. I toss my frog to provoke, hoping a tin on my lure will choke. Hogging them back, the bite was so fun. Man, what a day on the water in the sun. Man, that's really, really good, Rocka. Cheers to you, buddy. Great job. Uh, fishing giveaways always provoke me to enter them. Ha, 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 for the opportunity for good luck to all. Good luck to you, Tony. Um, E-S-C-H-I-T-I-1. Man, I, 
I wish someday you're going to just reply to me and tell you what your name is because you're always in here, always support me. I truly appreciate it. And you always put good good comments out here too, but I just never know how to, to say your username. So let's go ahead and read this one. It felt like it could be one of those days when I awoke. It was a well before sunrise because I'm an early rising bloke. I got to the lake amid the serene serenity of the bullfrog's croak, jumped in the boat and cranked up my old trusty two stroke. The fog on the water reminded me of my low-hanging smoke. It was one of those mornings painted with God's master stroke. It's amazing the feelings that a scene like this can provoke. It reminded me of all the memories made by me and my kinfolk. I was throwing a jig and figured out I had, I had to let it soak. After landing my PB, I sat back, celebrated with an ice-cold Diet Coke. That is freaking awesome. Well done, man. Well done. Uh, Brian, thank you. Six in space will definitely provoke a hog. Uh, provoke paint jobs are awesome. Yes, they are. Um, one more cast. I always provoke you to enter these giveaways. I hope so, man. Keep keep entering them. I love it. I love it. I love giving away stuff. And I love I love this whole YouTube environment where, you know, if we support each other, we can we can do awesome things. You guys get free baits by supporting me and we can just continue this on. So super cool stuff. Uh, let's go on down here. Uh, Mike in 7275. I've entered so many fishing tackle giveaways without winning that I'm starting to think I might provoke the fish into organizing a pity party for me. <laughs> Mike, someday you will win. I promise you, man. Just keep keep fighting. Keep fighting. Uh, we'll keep going around. Uh, Jay Nogle says, I see a few baits I could provoke into PB into, buy, into biting. Uh, definitely, there's some there's some nice ones in there for sure. Hopefully, we can get our PBs. I, I don't know if you guys saw it, but I just caught a PB not too long ago, and it was a massive one, 12.12 uh, 12 pounds in Ray Hubbard. So go out, look at the videos if you if you missed it, because that was a good one. Tyler Austin, at my next tournament, I could use the provoke, but even if I win, I will still be broke. When life is hard fishing helps me cope, but it's in Jesus that I find my hope. Tight lines. Tight lines to you too, Tyler. That is a really good poem. Appreciate all the support. One of these days you're going to win this thing and I'm going to bring it up to the Ray Hubbard uh, Bass Club uh, to hand it to you personally for the for the winnings. And by the way, since we're on that, Ray Hubbard Bass Club is actually having an open on Ray Hubbard um, next weekend. So make sure to go out and check it out on the website. Go out to the fishing forum or whatever. Or heck, send me an email and Tyler at Simplistic Fishing. I'll tell you what it is, but it's next Saturday. Uh, so it'll be next Saturday. I think you got to be there between five and five forty-five, and lines are in at six and out at three, and then you got to be in way in by three thirty. But uh, definitely a good little tournament to join. Really good people, really good group of people, um, and I'll be there as well. So if you guys can come out, please come out. Meet us at the sixty-six boat ramp on Ray Hubbard next Saturday. All right, so I'm going to keep moving down. Just a couple more. I know this is taking forever. Delisle Woods, I appreciate you, buddy. Uh, Bassman, Tracy Newman, Luke. Appreciate you. Let's see what Luke said. It might be pretty good. Peter Piper provoked a pack of pickerel. How many pickerel did Peter Piper provoke? First off, I can't believe I just said that without stumbling. And the answer is, I don't really know. <laughs> Made a short cast with the provoke. Waited a second while I took a sip of Coke. Making a small stroke on the provoke. Wishing it would get choked. Stoked to feel the provoke get smoked. Reeled in a tree pounder like it was a joke. <laughs> that is hilarious. Very good stuff. Very good poems. Guys, I'm going to keep going on. If you see your name here, I'm not skipping over you. I'm just trying to keep going because I know all you guys are anxious to get over the drawing. Robert Stevenson, uh, we got to read this one. Bass fishing has caused me to be broke. The news media has gone all woke. This world has gone crazy with strange folk. And with every sixth sense drawing, I always choke. But I still enjoy the videos with the smooth talking bloke as I eat my Hershey bar with my delicious Coke and say to myself, what a joke that a lure name provoke just might get me stoked. <laughs> That's awesome, Robert. Uh, appreciate you all your, all your feedback. Six cents junkie. Yeah. The panfish thing, man, I'm telling you that that was tricky. Uh, Larry Dean, you're out there while I was fishing. Let's read his says, it says, while I was fishing, the fish kept provoking me to throw a provoke. But I got provoked because the fish wouldn't bite my provoke. Because I was provoked, I kept throwing the provoke until I provoked the fish and to bite my provoke. <laughs> pretty good. We got an anonymous user here. I didn't actually include her. Tokyo Night Girl. That sounds pretty interesting. But she's disqualified because she didn't use provoke. So if Tokyo Night Girl is real and you're listening to this, you know, more than welcome to join for sure. Appreciate all the support and everything, but you got to put 
you got to put Verope in there or it's not going to work. And I think that is it. Uh, Gary Lee, uh, you're always a big supporter of us as well. Please don't provoke me into coming over to get a box of the six and tackles. Man, if I had more to give away, I would say just come on over and I'll give you one. But we got to do the drawing and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's jump over to the other screen. Let's run that little wheel and let's see who's going to win these things. Well, here we are. We have finally made it to the end of the video where we give away the six cent sacks. We've got three of them to give away. You guys already know that. So now it's time to go ahead and spin the wheel and see who our first lucky winner is going to be. Let's go ahead and spin it. Here we go. The drum is rolling. You can't hear it. There's all kinds of music in the background. Who's going to win? Is it going to be East Texas Bonds or one more cast? You are our lucky winner today for the six cent sack. All you need to do is send me an email to tyler at simplisticfishing.com, verifying some way of who you are, and I will go ahead and get this sent out to you. Make sure you send me your address too, because I need that in order to be able to ship it. Congratulations, East Texas Pines 2748 for being our first winner this month. Let's go ahead and remove you out of here. I'm sorry, you can't win again, so you just got booted. And now, We've got two more lucky winners that are going to win the six cents sack tonight. So let's go ahead and hit that spin button again and see what we get. Now, I might even have a little extra, extra, you know, video or, or sound here. Let's see if I can move my microphone over here and we might even get some screaming and yelling. You never know. Let's see what we get. Here we go. We're going to spin the wheel. Hopefully you guys can hear that. It's spinning around. We're close. It could be Tracy Newman, could be Luke, could be Bassman. I don't know who it's going to be. It looks like it's going to be Bassman 74. Bassman 74, congratulations. You have won the six cent sack for this month. Congratulations, man. As I mentioned, over to East Texas Pines, all you need to do is send me an email, tyler at simplisticfishing.com. Let me verify or somehow verify yourself that you are Bassman 74. Send me your address and I'll go ahead and get this thing shipped off to you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and remove you out of here, Bassman. So you just got booted as well. And now we are down to our final, 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 final lucky winner for this month for the six cent sack. Let's go ahead and hit that button. Here we go. We're spinning away. Hopefully we get something good. It's going to be Gary all around outdoors. So uh, it's close. It is all around outdoors outdoors guy you are our final lucky winner for this month's six cent sack i'm going to repeat it again just so you have it send me an email tyler at simplisticfishing.com verifying you are all around outdoors guy and i will go ahead and get that six cent sack shipped to you make sure to send me your address for the rest of you guys don't worry i'll be back next month with the same subscriptions to be able to give away to you guys and this month as we mentioned there were only what 43 entries so with 43 entries and three giveaways pretty high percentage that you're going to win one of these one of these months so guys i appreciate all the support you've given us for simplistic fishing continue uh watching all of our videos if you can give it us like subscribe and telling your friends it's been it's been wonderful, and I can't thank you enough for all the support you've given us. And to those of you guys that won tonight, congratulations again. And those that you didn't, don't worry. I'll be back in a couple weeks, and we'll be giving this stuff away one more time. So have a good one, and until next time, I hope you catch your PB. Take it easy.